everyone, this is Dr. Simmel Soin here. I'm medical director and founder of Aina Clinic, which is now one of the most trusted clinics in the country. My today's topic is sensible fillers at Aina. And why do I call it sensible fillers? This is a term which was coined by my team and me because we realized that people came in with all sorts of apprehensions about what fillers involved and how they were scared of it and they were worried about the results they would get. They were worried that they would look unnatural. They were worried they would look like another person. They were worried about side effects and about um, anything going into the skin. So really that's where the term came out of. So essentially sensible fillers are fillers which are done to address the right sort of concerns for your face and to give you a natural, rejuvenated, youthful look but without anyone being able to say that something's been done. So that is my view about fillers that everybody should look good, you should look amazing but no one should be able to say what's been done. So essentially, what are people scared about? They are scared about having apple cheeks, daffy duck lips, not being able to have movements or any sort of stiffness so that you know that people shouldn't be able to tell a lot of people that's their concern. What I would tell them is that that's we don't do fillers to give you that unnatural look. We essentially do fillers to target an emotion that comes up with excessive muscle movement or with age or because of the way that you know all the structures like the muscles, the fat, the bone are positioned in your skin. Example, when you start looking tired sometimes, even when you're younger as you get older for sure. And that happens because of the eye area. Um, what happens in the eye area? There's no superficial fat in the eye area to protect the eye. So this is one of the first areas that, that uh, is impacted by aging. So this area looks tired. So what, what should a filler do? It should take away the tired look of the eye area. Then another example is about the drooping corners of the mouth. You look sad. So everybody, and, and these are concerns people come in for and they don't realize, they say, everybody says we look tired or you look sad. So sadness happens with the drooping corners of the mouth. And then of course there's sagging, slackening, Skin. So what the filler does, it takes away the tired look to a less tired look, a, a sad look to a happy look, a saggy look to a lifted look. So that's really what sensible fillers mean. And of course, you will put some sometimes fillers in the cheeks, you'll build up, but, but it's not done to make you look unnatural. It's more to, you know, sort of give you a projection or to take away or to address or give volume in areas where volume's been lost over a period of time. Also to sharpen your jawline. Then another very important part of the sensible filler story is to bring about balance and harmony in the face. Again, sometimes it may just be that you have a, you know, when you're addressing or you're looking at the aesthetics of a face, Ideally, all the three parts of the face, the top, the middle and the bottom should be quite similar. But very often you'll find either when people are younger, they'll have retruded chins. So it looks much smaller. And while people don't realize it, it doesn't lend itself to complete beauty if you're concerned about it. It takes away from the beauty of the face. So filler will address that concern. It'll bring about balance and harmony in the way your face should look to be perfectly beautiful. Then you might have loss of volume on the sides of the face and there might be enough in the face here. So what it'll, it essentially does is it will address the sides of the face sometimes and lift it up from here and take away the gaunt look on the sides. Then as people get older, sometimes they'll find that there's buckle hollowing which makes them even feel older whereas younger people will want some buckle hollow so again it's it's a play of balance harmony emotions um, uh, you know just adding subtracting some things lifting sharpening 
but again like i always say what when people ask me what is the outcome of the filler and i always say to them that do you want to look like dramatically good and still people wouldn't be able to say what's been done that's what a filler does and should do how often can you have fillers if you can pay for them you can have them as often as possible they are very very safe the ingredient in a filler is hyaluronic acid and that is a natural constituent of your skin so really they are very safe to have but ideally a filler will last anywhere depending on the volume that's done and depending on the area that's done it will last anywhere for from about 6 months to maybe a year or so how often can you do fillers so ideally depending on the amount of filler done and the area addressed fillers last typically from about 8 months to a year and that's when people themselves feel like they need it so essentially about from up from about 8 months onwards you can repeat the filler but of course they are perfectly safe the ingredient in them is hyaluronic acid which is a natural constituent of the skin so sometimes if you want feel like you need a touch up even before 8 months you can definitely certainly have it so is techniques and expertise a thing for fillers I have to say yes, yes, and yes. So, is technique and artistry a thing? Oh, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. Cannot emphasize that enough because it is a combination of science and art. The result itself tells, and we know from the fact that people come back time and again to have fillers with us and the team at Aina, and not only from India, from across the globe, and they often tell us that they. wish they could get the same results close to where they live but they come back and have fillers all the way so techniques and expertise is really the most important thing when you have fillers any downtime any side effects no not really no long term side effects especially when fillers are done in trained hands and in expert hands occasionally you can have a bruise but that's because it's a blind procedure apart from that really we have good fillers we have good injectors really don't see that many side effects and we also use cannulas to you know especially if you're doing full face fillers cannulas are blunt needles which don't cause any trauma in the skin and and also you can address larger areas especially for lifting and also don't really have much side effects with fillers they again there's not any allergies with fillers because they are natural constituent of the skin so come ask us your concerns about fillers whether you've had any before you were not happy with them we'll address that and if you're scared of having a filler the first time again come and ask us and we'll be happy to address all your concerns